make sense for some of these questions. How often do you have afternoon delight? Mm, sounds like a respectable publication. Mm. It's a quiz Deborah's found. Do you have chemistry with your guy? Oh, what absolute rubbish. Why people spend their time and money on this sort of tripe is beyond me. It's just a laugh. Here, question four. Oh, no, I haven't got time. He was searching for something. He? Um, I thought you were doing admin this afternoon. I am. I meant I. I was searching for something. For the admin. And what is the weather like in Mykonos now, Harper? The temperature in Mykonos is 27 degrees centigrade. I'd adore a holiday right now, but I just simply can't. So, I need you to have a look at these. If you like, I could see the best prices for hotels and flights. Not now, thank you, Harper. Well, I should have known. So that's who you had to get back to? <laughs> Not at all. It's just I was finding out about a holiday, much easier than looking it up on the computer. Is that a different voice? Yes! Quite a story there. Maybe I could tell you about it over lunch. Mm. I'm only break from these spreadsheets. Mm. Sounds good. That's, of course, if you can tear yourself away from her. <laughs> of course I can. Right, well, you'd be happy to leave it in the staff room then, so everyone else can have a play with it if you're not too attached. I'm not leaving my phone. I mean, what if the school needed it to contact me about Joe? Hmm. Not as much. Uh, this is not what you think. You are barking up the wrong tree. Harper is not that important to me. Yes, you are. Sorry. Oh, yes, I can. Well, it's certainly getting hot and steamy in here. Haven't you heard of knocking? You wouldn't have heard me over the babbling brook. Can I do anything for you? I don't know, can you? Cheap hotel room and a phone charger, perhaps? <sighs> it's nothing like that. This relaxes me. I was nearly asleep. Well, close to, anyway. I mean, it was certainly close to something. Look, this childish innuendo is getting tiresome, Dr. Reed. There is nothing strange going on here. Well, if that's the case, there is a way to prove that. Right, question one. This is absolutely ridiculous. You are a medical professional. Yes, and so are you. So you should know this already. Question one. I know that you're enjoying this just a little bit too much. This is a quiz in a trashy magazine. Do you know, I'm starting to think that you're a little worried about what this might reveal about yourself, <laughs> which is fair enough. You know, if you're too scared to do it, then... OK, OK. Question one. <clears throat> do you spend all your free time with Harper? I use him a lot. But then so do Daniel and Joe, and them less so. Uh -huh. Do you miss him when he's not around? Well, if there's something I want to ask him, then possibly. Does he give you a tingling sensation when you speak to him? <laughs> OK, we're through here. No, 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 listen, it's nothing to be ashamed of. I've read lots of articles about ASMR. Autonomous sensory meridian response. Yes, I've seen articles. Mm, and did Harper read them to you? Right, get out. Look, it's nothing to be ashamed of. Whisper porn is very well established. Well, I'm not ashamed of anything. I am extremely open-minded, but that is not what this is. Really? You do know that you refer to Harper as him. I mean, each to their own. Uh, would you like me to put a do not disturb on the door? <sighs> Harper, read that to me again. Thomas Lynn closer. Elizabeth could feel his breath on her neck. Looking at the magnificent stallion, she went. <laughs> Going on. Not you. Daniel, what are you doing in here? We were supposed to be having supper together at the Icon. I've been there for half an hour. I texted you. Well, I am just finishing some work as it happens, so there's no need to be so hysterical. OK, perhaps you should go for supper with R2-D2 instead.
I can blame you.